Okay, you may think, why do I need this reference planes for the legs? I will show you now why. When I'm creating a blend extrusion for the legs, because I want the bottom part to be thinner than the top, I will use a circle. I will set first bottom to reference plane. I will draw a circle of, let's say, 20 and go to top, set the reference plane to top and draw another circle of a value of, let's say, 40. Okay. You see that uh, I drew the line at the crossing of this reference plane and uh, there was no padlock available for me to to lock the circle to the to this reference plane but fortunately Revit automatically creates constraint uh, between the center of reference planes the crossing of the reference planes and the uh, circle center so even if I now move the width or depth of the of the table you see this leg will fall but let's check also how how it looks like in the elevation you see there is some value here i need to uh, lower it uh, with a value of uh, the same as the thickness of the of the tabletop so minus 40 here will be also minus 40. Great, so we have most of our family ready. I will go back to reference plane and try to copy it. Fortunately, copying also create a constraint for the circles and I'm Click selecting one of the reference planes and using my arrow keys to test it on the screen. It's the same method of testing as if I would edit any of these values. But I don't have to open this window, so this is more convenient for such a simple case. And uh, let's go to front again and test the height. Everything works smoothly. 